G'day folks. In my previous video I updated my Iconia W4 tablet to Windows 10. Windows 10 Professional to be exact. So as promised in this video I'll give you a quick tour of Windows 10 running on an Acer Iconia W4 tablet and if you haven't seen my previous video watch it. It shows the, it. I show you how to update this tablet to Windows 10. Actually you can stay, follow the same procedure on any computer or a laptop so let's begin first thing you'll notice is that the start menu is back so if you open the start menu on the left hand side you have sort of the traditional windows 7 type start menu uh, these are linked with windows explorer and it will open the corresponding folder like documents it opens your documents folder pictures music all of these will open the folder in your uh, user account so it's much much more easier to manage than windows 8.1 and on the right hand side you have your touch sensitive apps like the Windows Store, the Xbox Store and so on uh, so let me just show you in comparison with Windows 8.1 start menu this is how it looked like on Windows 8.1 and which is being replaced by this which is much more user friendly now another cool new feature of Windows 10 is that the ability to run Windows Store apps in a windowed mode so if I launch several applications over here, they're, all, they're open, in an, open on my desktop and in the windowed mode. So unlike on Windows 8.1, where all of these applications go to full screen automatically, uh, this is much more better and much more productive than doing that. So let me just launch two, three applications. So you guys can see automatically these applications launch in a window. And if I do the same thing on a Windows 8.1 tablet uh, let me just launch in calendar you can see these applications automatically go to full screen mode and there's no way for these to run um, on desktop running in a windowed mode so less productive than Windows 10 and you can see different applications running by pressing this icon here And by the way, if you don't like these apps running on a windowed mode, you can switch to something called tablet mode. Now this is a new feature to Windows 10. So to make it much more touch friendly, just tap on tablet mode in action center. And your applications will become full screen, much like on Windows 8.1. So yeah, full screen applications become much more touch friendly and you'll get a start menu similar to Windows 8.1. You can see here, it's much like this and applications also run in full screen mode but again the tablet mode is much less productive than the traditional windows desktop mode so I do prefer running it in the traditional windows desktop mode another cool new feature on windows 10 is that the charms bar has been replaced by action center so to launch action center you just slide your finger in from the right hand side and this thing opens so you get all your new notifications here like if you set up the calendar you get your calendar notifications you set up your email account here the email account here then you'll get the e new email messages over here and you got different quick settings Let me just zoom in to give you a better view so nice quick settings are here like you can turn on and off the location turn off quiet hours quiet hours will uh, even if you don't mute your device you won't get notification sounds if you turn on quiet hours so bluetooth settings you access to control panel take quick notes turn your tablet mode on and off rotation log so nice uh, quick settings here and actually charm bar used to be this thing on windows 8.1 if you don't know this was used to be called the charms bar so on Windows 10 it's much much more advanced and much more productive and not to mention easier to use. Another thing which has dramatically changed from Windows 8.1 is the settings. So to access settings on your Windows 10 PC you slide in from the right hand side and you see this all settings icon. Just tap here and it opens a centralized uh, settings window. So you got all the settings like um, 
Windows Update and Security uh, uh, grouped up in one tab and Privacy, Location Settings, System Settings, Devices. So everything is nicely grouped up unlike on Windows 8.1 which your settings were used to be like this. It's to open on full screen and yeah this wasn't really that easy to use compared to this one. And by the way updates on Windows 10 is now automatic and there is no way you can turn this off. In, a pro, in Windows 10 Pro version you can select defer upgrades to delay them for a certain amount of time but eventually in due course of time even though you have selected defer upgrade settings it will automatically update your Windows uh, in due course of time and by the way if you're running Windows 10 Home Edition you won't have this option so that might be an issue for some people but to me it's okay because I usually get PCs with uh, two or more gigabytes of update spending so if your computer is automatically installing Windows updates that's good and you have the same Windows Defender backup and restore Windows recovery and if you upgrade from Windows 8.1 you have the option to go back to 8.1 for about a month and Windows activation, Windows activated, Windows 10 Pro developer option you have the option to sideload apps and speaking of Windows activation if you're upgrading from a previous version of Windows, say Windows 7 or Windows 8.1, uh, provided your Windows is genuine, you will be automatically activated. Another nice feature of Windows 10 is offline maps. Now you can download offline maps uh, according to your region and you can use them in the maps application on your tablet. So, yeah, even if you're not connected to the internet, you will still have availability of offline maps. I haven't tried it. I don't know if it is turn by turn navigation like on Nokia Lumia, but I think it will be. But it won't work on this tablet because this tablet does not come with a GPS receiver. Now, the battery life is more or less the same as it was on Windows 8.1 uh, because the hardware on this tablet is still the same and we're still running a full blown Windows uh, operating system. So I've not noticed any change in battery life but there are several improvements such as there is a battery saver um, over here now and now the battery icon shows the remaining battery time and it also, sh also shows the charge remaining charging time. So coming to the battery saver it's really not that effective on this tablet I've tried it and still we get, we get more or less the same battery life out of this. So I don't know why they have included it, but really it doesn't really work. Maybe it will later on future updates, but yeah, so coming to the battery saver mode, it's, I don't know what to say about it because it doesn't really work. And now you can check the different applications that use your battery. So like this and you can turn this application off by the way in the control panel so yeah so I don't know what to say really but because this battery saver feature does not really work I turned it on and left the tablet idle and still achieved the same battery drain value in Windows 10 also features Cortana which is all already on Windows Phone 8.1 so if you have a PC running Windows 10 and if you set your region, speech, and location to in English United States, you'll get Cortana enabled on your device. So to launch Cortana, you just tap on the search bar icon near the start menu. And there she is. So let me just ask her a few questions. Say my name. Charlie. What's your name? Cortana. How old are you? That's a tricky one. I'm not sure how to carbon date the internet. Okay, so what else? Do you know Siri? I know her, but I don't know her, know her. What do you know about Halo? No? What do you know about Halo? Consider this a polite dodge.
much of the question. Windows 10 also comes with Microsoft Edge, the code name Spartan web browser and let me tell you this web browser is pretty good. It comes as a default web browser. So launch, let me launch. And you guys can see how fast this thing launches. So let me just go ahead and type an internet address. And yeah, it renders web pages pretty fast. There's absolutely no lag at all and yeah must tell you this is much much more better than much better than chrome chrome uses a lot of memory so i'll be using this as my primary web browser so even if i'm scrolling at a really high pace it's not lagging at all let it wait let it wait for new content so yeah it's pretty good I think you guys will enjoy this new web browser because it's good, it's fast, it's smooth, no performance drop at all. Now changing colors and themes on Windows 10 is very similar to Windows 8.1 uh, but still again slightly different but still similar. So right click go to personalization and it will open these settings. Now here you can see you can change your background and you can change your windows color no windows color is over here there's a dedicated toolbar now if you don't want automatic colors you can select this and windows will allow you to choose different colors you can see it's different now I select another color so let it be on automatic because it's better and you can change your lock screen wallpaper on the over here. Select different notifications to appear on your lock screen. You can still change the themes, advanced, okay, so theme settings. From here, you can still change your themes just like on Windows 7 and Windows uh, 8.1. You can customize the start menu, choose which folders appear on start menu tap this and you can customize your start menu customize these folders so yeah it's pretty easy to use and really nice your system settings appear over here so apart from these settings the traditional control panel is still available it's right here or you can just search control panel in the search bar so traditional control panel is still available which is pretty cool because the traditional control panel gives you a much better control over your PC so guys I think that's it for this video and please do feel free to ask me any questions if you feel like and please don't hesitate to ask me any questions so thank you for guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these